Honestly, the more I look at this diecast, the more I gotta say, this is one of my favorite custom builds ever. Like, honestly, I love this COT. Here is Marcus Ambrose's 2010 Armor All Toyota Camry. Howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another custom COT review, and this one's gonna be an awesome one, guys. Here is Marcus Ambrose's 2010 Armor All Toyota Camry, and wow, this is one poppin' paint scheme, and I tell you what, this was one of my favorite COT custom builds, and I'll talk a little bit about that and why it's one of my favorite ones. So obviously, this is such a unique paint scheme, you know? I think he ran a, a nationwide paint scheme similar to this with a Gen 4 stock car, but uh, I believe this car ran at Michigan maybe another time in 2010, but uh, absolutely. Uh, when I seen the decal wrap for this, I was like, bro, I gotta build a car of this. So, so this paint scheme is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's the Armor All Tour de Camry, and uh, this was built with the Panos Place decals, and uh, I, I tell you what, though, this was such a fun project, but it was also very, it was also very trying as well, because as you can see right here with the hood decal, the hood decal actually has a color pattern to it, and uh, unfortunately, I kind of had to uh, make my own, uh, you know, match with the paint. It's not perfect, but it is what it is, so the whole hood of the car here kind of has like this solar ray, sun ray, kind of vibrant pattern how you have kind of like a shade of yellow that kind of transitions to either a brighter or darker shade. But unfortunately, this is all one big decal piece. Yes, it's clear coated. I, I got to say the clear coat on this actually came out fantastic. Uh, but many coats of uh, floor, uh, floor polish on this thing. But I got to say though, uh, the discrepancy between the yellows kind of looks off. So you got armor all right there. It will protect it. You go over to the nose of this Toyota Camry, and you can really see how, you know, these COT cars, man, they are just something, I, I just, I don't know, there's something about them, absolutely freaking love them, you got the Toyota Camry uh, badges there, you got the 47, you got JTG Doherty Racing, you got uh, Goodyear Gatorback, Moog Mail Cop, Edderbrock, Ray Bestos, JE, Wix Air Filters, and Sunoco. Now, the whole splitter here, the whole bottom little canard, kind of had to hand paint all that, as well as the side skirt. So I had to touch them up with some uh, some paints, um, as the bottom trim of this Toyota Camry is all painted black. Uh, very nice, very sharp, but uh, this yellow, though, um, this was not what I would traditionally use, because usually I like to uh, use the cheap paint, right? Hey, I get that cheap Crown stuff half the time. But this type of paint job required something special. And uh, generally, you know, when I do some of these custom builds, some of these cars require uh, a very special shade of paint, right? Um, you know, the Connell Bush Interstate Batteries uh, 2009 Bobby Labonte Tribute Car. I had to get a kind of a neon fluorescent style green, right? Um, you know, the Chase Elliott uh, 2018 Code Red Mountain Dew Custom I made. Yeah, it, you're an OG if you remember that one. Um... That one required a metallic red paint job, right? And those I had to get, uh, they were like Tamiya uh, brand paints. Well, this is a Tamiya brand paint because I needed something that had not day glow yellow, but bright yellow. The store-bought ones, they just weren't cutting it and I uh, had to order that one in. So you got Marcus Ambrose right here. Uh, of course, if you haven't already, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. If you like this custom die cast, <laughs> I spent like three weeks building it. Uh, <laughs> Toyota right there, uh, Bush's Baked Beans, I'm not sure what that one is, and I can't read that one, uh, that one is Delillion, Dalian, I have no clue, you got Armor All right there, Kleenex, uh, this was a little bit of an oopsie here, I probably could have touched it up with some paint before clear coating it, but it is what it is, the decal kind of, uh, didn't stretch as far, because I wanted to make sure the back end of the car wrapped, uh, before the fender well, 47 right there, Little Debbie's, you got, uh, Freightliner, Safety Clean, uh, SEM and Sherwin Williams. You got uh, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Uh, you got uh, McHexware, Holly 3M, DirecTV, USG, Mobile One, Craftsman. Uh, I got uh, Tissot, Lincoln Welders, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Auto Meter, and Jegs. You also got the Goodyear logo right there. You can see a little bit of the decal not properly folded and trimmed around. Sometimes a little bit difficult uh, to wrap it around there. But of course, this was produced on the Camry uh, nose, but it's a promo die cast. You can tell by the Gen 4 uh, side. Uh, spoiler. Now, the back end of this car, though, you can see there's a, definitely some uh, some grooves and textures here. Holy moly. So, the whole back end of the car is, unfortunately, it's super bumpy. Um, that's that's kind of a byproduct here. Now, I don't, I don't know. 
I don't think the back bumper of this car was decal. I think this was actually had to be painted, I think. Uh, so that might be a little, a little bit of the reason why it's so, honestly, so aggressive, like how it's very bumpy here. Um, I probably could have, you know, put some extra coats, maybe a thicker coat to kind of build a new layer to kind of flatten that. But you know what? It's okay. You got the spoiler that was hand painted here, the wing. I uh, got on armor all right there, Toyota. Toyota. Uh, obviously, there was no winglet sponsors as this car was ran at Michigan. At least this template was based off of, I believe. And obviously, uh, by then, you know, the summertime of 2010, uh, they, they weren't running this style spoiler anymore. Uh, I got JTG, Doherty Racing right there at 47. Go over here to the right side of this Toyota Camry. And, you know, this is a promo die cast. This was not something super rare. That, you know, these promo die casts, you know, most people look at these and they're like, oh, it's a promo car. Who cares about it, you know? To me, I look at these cars and I'm like, this is an opportunity, right? People, they don't like the promos. They kind of just, they just get kind of lost, right? You know, the track promos, the, the Christmas cards, whatever. They overproduce them and they don't have any value. Well, I like to take those and I like to make customs out of them because why not, you know? Ain't no sense tearing up a perfectly good race car when you can tear up something no one wants. Uh, very cool. Um, honestly, I just love the chrome wheels on this, guys. I mean, just this part right here with the shine, the way the clear coat came out with it, and that yellow, and the black wing right there, the black splitter, the black trim right here, the chrome wheels. Whoo, baby, chrome wheel. Chrome, chrome wheels with that very bright yellow paint job. Looks freaking good. Uh, of course, you got a little bit of some decals kind of crinkled up right there, unfortunately. You go over to the roof of this die cast. You got the 47 right there for JTG Doherty Racing. And I just love the clear coat in this. I mean, you can just see the shine. I mean, look how the shine kind of tapers off. It is like a very smooth top, I might add. And you can just see, beautiful. I absolutely love that clear coat finish. Now, the, the nose of the car, I, I don't know. I could have put a little bit more maybe right here, dead smack in the middle, but... I mean, just the transitions, man. Obviously, this transition isn't the best, but that's okay. Uh, but wow, bro. I freaking love this die cast. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. Uh, you got Clorox, and you got Kingsford right there on the deck lid. And uh, this is absolutely one of my favorite COT builds I've done. You know, this was a lot of work. Like I said, I had to get a yellow, special candy yellow paint. Which is never fun to do because you gotta you gotta go around you gotta color match it you gotta try to compare what it looks like online you have to order it in and uh, of course you get the plan okay hopefully we have good weather hopefully we can get this sprayed in and you know it's a it's definitely a bit of a learning curve because yellow is probably the most sensitive color I've noticed because there's about a billion different shades of it you know you have you have dull yellow you might spray I don't know outdoor furniture with but then you have school bus yellow you got taxi cab yellow you got so many guy given yellows it's unbelievable uh but this one definitely called for a bright but not menards yellow right it, it can't be full-on day glow but it needed to be a bright shade of just a good shade of yellow and uh luckily we we're able to get that and i also uh used the same color for the 2010 uh dollar general millions uh, cot for marcus ambrose that he ran at martinsville uh that year so uh, definitely uh i love this shade of yellow plan on using it on hopefully more builds to come but uh definitely you know this was just a normal just a normal promo cot this was just a normal one you know just 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 there right sitting on the die cast junkyard took the wheels painted that stripped the body way down to the bare metal you know brushed the metal down got it pretty much prepped got the paint job on it i think i put um a white undercoat on this as well because um i tried uh just spraying the yellow on a just a bare metal chassis it, it or body it doesn't work right you really gotta put um an undercoat to it so we put the white undercoat but i just guess i just gotta say the angle of the car from like right here this whole side with the the, the chrome and how the shine glances across the car and how this decal kind of goes all the way up to where the winglet is Whoo, baby, that is a beautiful looking car, man. I, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite custom builds. Uh, tell me what y'all think about this car down below in the comment section. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for the diecast review. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more custom NASCAR diecasts, have a whole playlist down below. You can check that out. And also every single NASCAR diecast I have reviewed on the channel as well. Over 400 diecast reviews down there, guys content for freaking hours hope y'all enjoy hope you're having a great one diecast buffet signing off